What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Junkyard Breaks. Um, today is going to be a um, pull list, comic books, all comic books, and a little thing that I got from my uh, LCS. Um, today I got my mystery mail call from Comic Tom. Can't wait to see what's inside. And um, I'm going to go over the things that I got from my pull box today. So, um, and I got a special statue. Something that I think is pretty damn cool. So let's start it with uh, my pull list. Starting with, I got G.I. Joe, The Real American Hero, Complete Silence. So this is um, back in the uh, early days of G.I. Joe and Marvel Comics. There was a um, there was a Snake Eyes issue where there were two versions. One had um, dialogue, and the other one had uh, no dialogue at all. It was completely silent, and they have done the very same thing with this one. In fact, they've reprinted the original um, dialogue list, um, G.I. Joe comics. So this is, uh, it's basically, it's got no dialogue on the whole thing. It's completely silent. Every panel is just art. I think I'll have it in here too. Do they have the issue number? Yeah, 21. So issue 21 was the um, silent issue for Snake Eyes very uh it's actually worth a good amount of money so if you ever see it uh issue 21 there are two versions look for the uh the silent version it's worth some money good amount of money next uh i got the is this the final issue of middle west i think scotty young i'm a huge fan of scotty young i look forward to reading this in its entirety now that i have the whole thing i think pretty sure this is the end of it. I got... I just love this cover. This Batman Beyond cover. I had to get it. J.I.M. Who's that? Variant cover? No. Sorry about that. I don't know who, who's the artist on this cover. They don't have variant cover artists. But anyway, I love this. Just the... Um, it's, it reminds me of the screen screen posters that I get. Very cool. Batman Beyond. I got Empire. Not sure about this yet. I'll read it and let you know. I got all sorts of things going on. I got the trade paperback, Venom Island, Donny Cates. Um, this has been a good read. So now I have it in trade. Chew number one. Brand new book from John Lehman and Dan Boltwood. Um, I actually have no idea what this is about, but I collect image number ones just because uh, they're good to spec on. Um, they're interesting, diverse. Uh, there's a lot of different stories and themes and, and genres in, dim, in image books, so uh, I like to, if something piques my interest, I like to grab image ones. And this is an example of that. Bliss, number one. I don't know what this is about either, but it was cool. Cool looking. Cool art. I'll let you know. Bliss, number one. Then, uh, oh, I just had this in my pull box. I uh, got it for half price. First appearance of Lockheed. Kitty Pride's Dragon. Um, 350 Not a bad price. Uh, this is the chapter 7. I think this is the last issue of The Last God. I'm not sure, I think. Um, this is for DC's label, Black Label series. I'll let you know what I think about that. Low, number 23. This has been really good. Die, number 12. This has been really, really good. I highly recommend this series. Sorry for the interference. Uh, Detective 1024. This is the B cover. I think I like the A cover better. I don't know why I grabbed this. It's a little too orange for me. 
I got Batman 95. This is the beginning of Joker War. Thought this was a cool cover. Batman silhouetted in the back. I thought it was pretty cool. I got Justice League Dark. Really like this cover. It's cool. And Sins Rising Prelude, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Pretty cool. I think this had the um, an origin of a new Soul Eater. Don't know. I'll read it. Let you know. Let's crack open the Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call. Let's see what we get. Usually, um, I've been very happy so far. Uh, I forgot what this is. $39.99? I think I pay. Um, the variants have been fantastic. I'm not entirely 100% into the back issue stuff. It seems a little hit or miss, but the variance is undeniably worth it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Geek responsibly. Alright, so we got... There it is. Defend the Alliance now. Look at this. That is such a cool cover. That is so cool. That's a Fantastic Four war poster variant. It's so awesome. Well, that's an a print. Thirteen ninety seven out of seven fifty. Not autograph. That's a Xerox copy of an autograph. Pretty cool, Mando, Baby Yoda, or the Child. Venom Homecoming. Green Arrow, Quiver Part Four. Guy Gardner Reborn. Book one. Definitely got some spine break. Got the Shazam number nine. So this is the other t Comic Tom exclusive, Wretches number one. Scout Comics. Don't know much about it, but very cool. Nice cover. It's a paid. Um, it's a Peach Momoka, Momoko cover. A really nice one too. Wow, it's a really nice cover. Very cool. Thank you, Com Tom, Comic Tom. Blah blah blah. Thank you, Comic Tom. That was a good mystery mail call again, as usual. And last but not least, <laughs> I had to get this. I'm going to open it up right now. This is the... <laughs> the Captain Jean-Luc Picard face palm mini bust paperweight. <laughs> I don't even know how big it is. It comes in a little box. Usually these medium-sized boxes means that it's, it's tiny. But we shall see. I love this. This is great. So you know the me it's like a famous meme of um, Captain Picard face palming like oh my god these guys. Uh this is classic. Oh my god. I had to have this as soon as I saw it. I was like I I got to have this. So it's actually a um previews exclusive San Diego limited to 1701. And uh <laughs> It's awesome. He's just face palming like, oh my god. You guys. That's pretty cool. There's the base. See that? Hand numbered. 1437 of the 1701. Very cool. So that's it. That's, uh, that is my uh, LCS score of the week. Um, my local comic store is Comic Fortress in Somerville, New Jersey. Um, 
I support them. You should support yours. Uh, comic stores need us. So subscribe to your books. Go down and spend some money. They need the help. And uh, I guess that's it for tonight. So I'll see you uh, next time.